Hello everybody, and this is the part 2 of this Metal Air battery video. So in the part 1 video I showed you how to make really really simple and easy uh, Metal Air batteries with really simple materials. Uh, the first one was the aluminium air battery, the second one was the iron air battery and the third one was magnesium air battery. And in part 2 video I will show you the next three metal air batteries. So the catout is made from the same materials which I use in my part 1 video. And the current collector which I use is some uh, graphite plate and the active material is some activated carbon. And also I use some small amount of manganese dioxide uh, for the catalyst. So the first metal air battery is some silicon air battery. And according to Wikipedia, the silicon air battery have the voltage of 1.6 volts and the capacity of 1 kilowatt hours per kilogram. So the first silicon air battery which I will construct will be with potassium hydroxide electrolyte. And here I have some silicon. This one you can get on eBay. Really, really easy. But let's see what I will get, what voltage I will get with this homemade uh, silicon air battery. And I get 0.73 volts. The next silicon air battery still have potassium hydroxide electrolyte but into this one I add a little bit of manganese dioxide for the catalyst. And let's see if we get some improvement on this silicon air battery. Yeah, I get slightly improvement of the voltage, 0.83 volts. The next silicon air battery is with the electrolyte of sodium chloride or some ordinary table salt. This one have the active material which is made only with activated carbon. Yeah, and I get 0 0.95 volts with sodium chloride. The next silicon air battery with sodium chloride electrolyte have a little bit of manganese dioxide. And I get slightly of improvement of the voltage. Here I get zero po I mean 1.16 volts. So the second metal air battery, which I will show you, is some tin air battery. So, here I have this tin, which is really really soft metal. And according to Wikipedia, the tin air battery have the voltage of 0 0.95 volts and the capacity uh, over 6200 watt hours per kilogram. So my first homemade tin air battery have the electrolyte of potassium hydroxide. And let's check the voltage. And this tin 
air battery here with a voltage of 1.1 volts. The next thin air battery with potassium hydroxide electrolyte is with some small amount of manganese dioxide. And I get the voltage of 1.16 volts. The next thin air battery have the electrolyte of sodium chloride uh, and the active material is only activated carbon. And let's see if sodium chloride is better than uh, potassium hydroxide. So with sodium chloride I get the voltage of 1 volt. And the last thin air battery still have the electrolyte of uh, sodium chloride, but in this one is added a little bit of manganese dioxide. And I get the voltage of 1.1 volts. And my last metal air battery will be some zinc air battery. So, zinc air battery, according to Wikipedia, have the voltage of 1.65 volts and the capacity of 1350 watt hours per kilogram. So, my first zinc air battery have the electrolyte which is made from potassium hydroxide and the active material is only activated carbon. And let's check the voltage. 1.37 volts. The next zinc air battery still have the electrolyte which is made from potassium hydroxide, but uh, into this active material I add a little bit of manganese dioxide. And the voltage is 1.45 volts. And the next zinc air battery will have uh, the electrolyte which is made from sodium chloride. So this zinc air battery have only activated carbon for active material. And let's check the voltage. 1.22 volts. And my last zinc air battery still have the sodium chloride electrolyte, but into this active material I add a little bit of manganese dioxide. And I get the voltage of 1.44 volts. So guys, this is the end of part two video. And in part one and part two video of metal air batteries, I show you six of homemade metal air batteries, aluminum air battery, iron air battery, magnesium air battery, silicon air battery, tin air battery, and on the last some zinc air battery. So the best metal air battery was of course the magnesium air battery. The magnesium air battery have the highest voltage of all homemade metal air batteries which I show you in these two videos. So if you have some small cell or large cell, the voltage will be always the same. But the size of the cell and the surface area will drastically affect the capacity of your metal air battery. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.